everyone else just feel like they want to literally purge their entire wardrobe and become a whole brand new bitch because sis, same. Hello, so welcome back to another video and my little egg looking face. This ponytail is literally giving me a facelift right now. Like, it's so tight to my head, but I still can't get that little bit down. It's doing my head in. Anyway, completely relevant to the video. So today I'm filming something a little bit different and I'm basically going to do one of my like shit I bought recently videos because this is how I prefer to do like a normal haul. I don't tend to buy in bulk anymore. I tend to buy little things here and there and then it all adds up over a few months and I'm like wow I've actually got quite a lot of new stuff now. Um, But most of this stuff I have bought pretty recently so you should be able to get most of it. I've got some stuff from Zara, ASOS, Weekday, AYM, AIM. AYM um, studio which is a really sustainable brand and I love them so I'm going to show you everything that I have bought recently and I will leave everything linked down below if I can find the links for it I am 99.9% .9 sure all this stuff is still on the sites I don't know what sizes are available in what and quite a lot of you seem to like my style because I do get a lot of questions about where I get stuff from so I hope this video is useful I'm just going to get on with it and stop chatting shit so i'm gonna talk about zara first and the first thing i'm gonna show you is this blazer this is a loose fitted blazer i have this in a size small now if you've watched any of my like normal hauls normal clothes hauls before you'll know when it comes to blazers i'm incredibly fussy i cannot stand blazers from pretty little thing misguided stuff like that i think the quality of them is awful i think because i bought the house of cb one my standards for blazers are quite high because that is a really really good quality blazer and it is a little bit more expensive so i don't really like a bad quality blazer i feel like it just does not look good zara blazers are absolutely on point so yeah i decided to get this one because my house of cb one is quite tapered at the waist which i love but i do feel a bit like it can't really be like dressed down as much as like a looser fitted one could for like during the day and stuff and i've been on the hunt for a cream blazer for the longest time so i finally got one i got it in a size small and i absolutely love this i wore this the other week i'll try to put a boomerang in with heels a bodysuit shorts i just loved how it looked i thought it looked really like classic simple but put together like it's one of those things where you can put this on and it's like you've tried but you've not really tried if that makes sense so yeah that's the first thing i got from zara i love it i think this was about 60 pounds i then very recently like a couple of days ago picked up these bodysuits which are from it's a specific collection that these are from the limitless contour collection um which basically i did look at the rest of the collection and it just appears to be like basics tight fitting like tops basics bodysuits stuff like that um so if you are interested in that kind of basic vibe then definitely just search that on the zara website and all the stuff will come up but yeah they're just these ribbed bodysuits i've only tried the white one on for you but i got it in white black and this like color because i did get it to think it would go with this shirt um and i really really like these these are in an extra small to small the fit of these, it could be a little bit tighter around my stomach, I'm not going to lie, it's a little bit loose around my waist, but I put like jeans and stuff on with them and then I'm going to wear a belt, so like it doesn't really bother me that much. Um, but yeah, I really, really like these, they're super, super soft and Zara bodysuits are really good quality and well priced. These were like £12 each, I would personally rather pay a little bit more than like £5 for a bodysuit if it's going to last me and I'll keep it for a long time um so yeah i really really like these moving on to some shorts these are both from zara however these ones are from zara and these ones i got off depop because i do like to search on depop to see if things are on there before a i pay full price because i can save myself a little bit of dollar dollar p she do be a little bit thrifty i'm not gonna lie but also obviously it's a bit, bit more sustainable to buy second hand when it comes to shorts and stuff like some of the stuff on depop it's not even been worn or like it's been worn once or twice so i do like to check there so i did check there for these gray ones um and i got these so i got these both in a size 6 and eu 34 i think it is at zara um and it's the like bermuda mom shorts the reason why i got these was because i put a story on instagram asking for like 
some full length like longer length shorts and everyone said to get these ones on the website they're pictured rolled up but you don't have to wear them rolled up they're not like stitched rolled up if that makes sense so you can roll them down um which i did the other week and i posted a picture on instagram so i will try and insert that here so yeah i really really do like these shorts a lot they're really well priced i think they're around like 20 pounds 25 pounds and they're really really good quality i would actually say these come up a little bit big because normally in stiff denim that doesn't stretch i would have to get like an eight just to accommodate for like my bum my leg my hip but actually the six fits okay it's a little bit loose at the waist but i just wear a belt with it or sometimes i don't because actually i don't mind it not being so skin tight to my waist it's a little bit comfier it's a bit more of a relaxed fit and i absolutely love these shorts you can wear them rolled down like i said or you can wear them rolled up um and they're a really flattering short i often find it hard to find a short that's flattering on your bum that doesn't have your bum cheeks hanging out of it but these are perfect so yeah i absolutely love these shorts these are like a staple god i'm eight minutes in like i'm not chatting shit today i'm getting straight to the point aren't i this is a little bit out of my comfort zone so i bought some jeans from weekday because i have been living on tiktok and there's a girl on tiktok if anyone can remember her name comment it down below because i can't remember her name off the top of my head that tries out jeans from different places and i saw her try the weekday row or row i don't know how you would say it jeans and i thought they don't look like something i would normally wear but i am obsessed with them i need to have them so i bought them and then whilst i was on there all their denim just looked really bloody good so i thought do you know what i'm just gonna get another pair so i also got a pair of their lash jeans which is like a mom fit so with the row jeans it's a straight leg jean not something that i'm used to wearing but I'm just so bored of skinny jeans. I just feel like they're a little bit basic. Don't get me wrong, I'm still gonna wear skinny jeans. I think they look good with certain outfits. I think they look good with like heels and stuff like that. But I just wanted some like looser fitting jeans. So yeah, I went for these. So with the row jeans, I got a waist 26, leg 32. For reference, I have a 24 inch waist. 39 40 around my bum and i think the length of my leg is 29 inches and i'm five foot six i have a long upper body but my legs are really not that long i don't have the longest legs in the world not like my sister has got a 33 inch inside leg like kendall jenna so yeah i picked the row jeans up in a waist 26 leg 32 fit wise this denim is rigid denim it's proper denim it's not like a hybrid so it molds to your body it's just a rigid denim but in a weird way, I'm kind of over obsessing over everything, making my bum look absolutely fantastic. Like if I like the way that something looks, but it makes my bum look a little bit, well, it doesn't look great. I'm not really that bothered by it anymore. Does anyone else feel like that? I'm just like rigid denim jeans are never going to make your bum look good, but they look good in and of themselves if that makes sense. So yeah, so I got a waist 26 in these to make sure that I could actually get them over my legs. Now, I probably could have done with a waist 27 if I gain any more muscle, which I will because I'm training bloody hard. I'm not going to be able to get these over my legs, but I'm just going to pray that like these like stretch out or something crazy happens because um, they're still quite hard to get over my bum. But I can get them on fine. When I get them on, the waist is pretty loose. Like the, I, I'm going to have to wear a belt with them. Everyone keeps telling me to get them taken in because I posted about it on Instagram, but surely if you get your jeans taken in at the waist that then gives you the problem of not being able to get them over your legs no am i being stupid there but that to me doesn't make any sense so i think i'm just going to wear a belt with them or like do the trick where you get like a piece of ribbon and tie it at the back and stuff like that because i'm really not bothered but yeah i really really like these jeans they're a straight leg jean super relaxed fit at the bottom i tried them on with my air force and they look really good i tried them on with my triple s and they look really good so yeah i absolutely love these jeans something a little bit different for me but like i'm just kind of bored of skinny jeans and just a little bit does anyone else just feel like they want to literally purge their entire wardrobe and become a whole brand new bitch because sis 
same. I also then got the lash jeans. So I got these in like a darker blue colour. I got these in a waist 26 leg 30. I roll these up at the bottom because they look a little bit weird. Like I know they're not meant to be tight at your ankle but like it, my ankles are like super super skinny and scrawny so like mom jeans always look weird at the bottom if I don't roll them up. So I roll these up a little bit and these fit really really nice again they do squish my bum a little bit they're a little bit tight around my bum but i wouldn't want to go to a waist 27 because i just think it would be way too loose on my waist and i wouldn't really like the way that they'd look sort of thing so yeah i really really like these they are like nice and tight around like your thighs and then they just go into like a mom fit jean really really like these highly recommend they're 40 pounds each but that's like top shop prices for jeans and i definitely prefer these to any jeans that i've ever had well no maybe that's an exaggeration i do like the jamie jeans from top shop but i yeah i really do enjoy these rigid denim so if you are like me and you have weirder proportions just go up a size and wear a bell or you could get them taken in if you wanted to um but yeah just a heads up definitely size up in these like I went up two sizes in these because they are super hard to get over your legs and there's not much stretch in it. So if you've got a smaller waist but a bigger bum, just sacrifice on the waist and size up a little bit. At least one size, if not two. Personally, I could go up three sizes. <laughs> Moving on to ASOS. I keep on seeing that ASOS advert on TikTok. And it just says ASOS in a really weird way. But I got these checkered shirts, one of which I've got on currently and another I've got here. I bought these because I'm obsessed with Sarah Ashcroft um, and she did a video styling denim shorts and I just love the way that denim shorts look with a shirt. So I thought I need to get on that because I do love wearing denim shorts. So I bought two checkered shirts. These are the ASOS boyfriend, ASOS design boyfriend fit checkered shirt or something. Now, last week when I went on the website looking for checkered shirts, these came up and I thought, right, brilliant, I'll order them tomorrow when I do the rest of my online shopping, I can do it all in one go and treat myself a little bit. Went on the next day, literally nowhere to be found, I was like, am I going crazy because I swear these were on the website yesterday. On Monday I went back on the website and they were all back up again and there were some new colours. As soon as I clicked on them the selling fast thing came up, so I was like, let me just get these, I got them both in a size 10 literally now i can't find barely any of the colors again i don't know if someone's posted about these or like these are just like a cult classic on asos but if you see these on the website and you want them get them because they clearly sell out pretty quick but yeah i got these in a size 10 to wear like oversized over like a little bralette a bodysuit with shorts i really want to break my doc minds in so i want to wear these with my docs trainers I just think they're a nice way and something a little bit different and especially going from like summer to autumn you don't want to be wearing like a boiling hot coat because in the UK we always get that weird point in September slash October where it's still really hot and I'm just like eh but I feel like we always end up with a little bit of a heat wave around the end of September slash start of October and these will be perfect for that because they're super light really really soft and these were like £18 each these are really really well priced in my opinion for what they are um so yeah size 10 is what I got for an oversized fit and I really really like them I've just realized I forgot to say this bralette is also something I picked up from weekday and I absolutely love it so the thing I really like about this is how thin the straps are I don't like chunky straps because I'm not gonna lie I do go to the gym I've got quite like nice like shoulders in my opinion anyway I mean I don't know if anyone else will agree with that but like I've got quite like muscular shoulders and like back and stuff so I feel like when I wear chunky strapped stuff it makes me look a bit boyish I don't really know how to explain it so I do prefer thinner straps and stuff like this this is literally perfect and i got this in a size small i'm a 32 double d and it fits really well i'm literally gonna buy this in like every single color like i said i'll link everything down below but yeah i'm gonna cop these in every single color because they're so flattering perfect under these shirts with shorts with jeans with joggers to sleep in honestly you could probably wear it to the gym if you really wanted to love it but last but certainly not least is some things i've been buying from aym or aim 
over the past couple of months sustainable brand and when i say sustainable i don't mean no greenwash shit that's gonna break after a few wears or like oh it's made out of recycled plastic but it's gonna tear after three wears i mean proper sustainable clothing i'm pretty sure everything that they do is made to order so when an order goes through the website i think they then start working on that order so that they don't waste fabric there's like they basically focus on not wasting material, not wasting any fabrics. Um, they don't have like crazy new releases all the time. And on the website, you can literally go on like the About Us page and meet, meet, internet meet, or like read the profiles of every single person that makes the clothes. It's a very small brand, but a very sustainable brand and an actual sustainable brand that's not greenwashed. At the end of the day, the only reason why places like Zara, um, ASOS, Pretty Little Thing, Misguided, can charge the prices that they can charge is because they cut corners elsewhere, like point blank, period. Like they're cutting corners elsewhere if they are charging super, super low prices. You do pay a little bit more when it comes to brands like AYM, but personally, I'm happy to do that. I'm in the position to do so. I'm not gonna bash people that can't because literally, bitch, I bought from ASOS and Zara in the same haul. But if you do want a more sustainable brand to shop from, then definitely check them out because the quality of their pieces is insane. That brings me on to the first thing that I bought from them, which was their Born t-shirts. Kylie Jenner's worn these. Um, I'm trying to think of other people. I think Hayley Bieber wears their stuff a lot as well. But basically, it's these classic cropped t-shirts. I've not included try-on clips of these, but I will try putting a picture of me wearing them because I'm sure I've posted it on Instagram. Um, but yeah, they're like cropped, but like not crazy cropped. Like it's not like just under your boob. It comes just above or like the middle of your belly button. So it's not a crazy crop and with jeans, it literally does not even look cropped but if you want to crop it a little bit more you can obviously roll it up tuck it up a little bit i've got the black one and i've got the white one they're double layered they're super thick if you have bigger boobs you don't need to wear a bra with these because they're super super supportive they just kind of like hike everything up and because they're like double layered as well they're not see-through you don't have any issues with stuff like that so if you are in the market for a good quality tight fitting crop t-shirt which i've been for like years but i couldn't find one because i was looking in the wrong places then these are absolutely amazing highly 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 recommend these and i also bought this bodysuit this zip bodysuit i've included a try on clip and i will also post a picture of me wearing it so you can see like what i would wear it with so i got this in an extra small and oh my god i'm in love a lot of other brands have got versions of these, but they look like scuba material and I just think it looks a little bit weird. I'm not the biggest fan of it, so I decided to just wait until I could be bothered to pay £60 for this because this was like £59, I'm pretty sure. Um, but then I decided to splurge in the end and just get it and I'm so glad I did. The only thing is I did have to wait like four and a half weeks to get this, but that's slow fashion like they always say on their instagram page like we are a slow brand we can't keep up with everyone else um and i think people do have like expectations and like in today's society like today's day and age i mean i'm, I'm the same myself i'm not gonna i'm not sitting here and picking like the moral high ground like we want things now like we want that like instant gratification we want to buy something and we want to have it within 24 hours that's not the case with this brand you are going to have to wait a little bit longer especially if things are on pre-order or stuff like that which this was so i waited about four and a half weeks for this but 100 percent worth it it's such good quality the zip is great quality it doesn't feel like it's going to break um the material is really thick it's not see-through at all so you don't need to worry about that and they also do this in white and gray and i just love it i think it goes with so much stuff joggers jeans shorts so yeah that is everything that i have bought recently that's my shit i bought recently haul i hope you enjoyed the video if you did give it a thumbs up subscribe if you're new here and you want to stick around and you haven't already i am more of like a fitness channel but i do like sprinkling in a little bit of different content a little bit of just like more normal lifestyle bits here and there and everywhere follow me on the instagram if you're not already i will leave everything that i've spoken about down below with links and sizes because I'm 99.9% .9 sure everything other than these shirts I should be able to link because it should all still be in stock. So yeah, let me know what your favourite things were, if you're going to buy anything that I've spoken about and yeah, thanks for watching.